Marshall. And Madam Chair, you have two members of the public who have combined their cards across five items, and they've requested the consolidation of their speaking time on these items. It would be John Bay and Salim Bay. My name is Salim Bay. I'm a longtime Oakland resident for the majority of my life, 20 plus years as a homeowner in Oakland, and somebody who would be considered indigenous to this city as opposed to Warshaw, who is a carpetbagger who came in and takes our tax dollars, where you give $13,000 to a whole project as a city of Oakland, but you're going to get $5 million to two people who come in and out of town and write four reports a year. That is not good leadership. The compliance director's position was a compromise by the city and the plaintiffs to save a failed OPD incapable of self-regulation and equal protection for the citizens of Oakland, especially as it applies to citizens of color and specifically black citizens of the city of Oakland. Thomas Frazier was the first contracted compliance director. As soon as he started, the very next day, myself and my brother, John Muhammad Bay, went to the compliance director, gave him all of the information that we've been giving you as a city about fair and unequal treatment of us and our people. And you can Google this, okay? Thomas Frazier responded that he was reopening egregious cases of failure to investigate by OPD as it, as it applies to IAD. One of the cases that he reopened was IAD 07-0538. Show of hands, how many people up here have ever heard of 07-0538? At least one. But that calls into question all the other people as what is your truthfulness? Two weeks after saying he's going to reopen 07-0538, which was a complaint filed by me in July 13, 2007, about failure to investigate the murder of my brother, Wajid, CEO of Your Black Muslim Bakery, and the attempted murder by five gun, four gunmen in Montclair at 6.30 in the morning of my brother, John Muhammad Bay, in front of his house with his infant children and everything like that shot up with guns that OPD knew were stolen and just watching. It's called gun walking. Google that, fast and furious. Two weeks after announcing he was going to reopen 07-0538, OPD lost two chiefs in a row and had three chiefs in, two, in a, in a one-week period. Is that a coincidence? OPD IAD opened the new case investigation of 07-0538, which is failure to investigate Wajid Bay and John Bay. They reopened it in 2013, July 2013, as 131062, IAD 131062, all right, which is an investigation of the cases, the murder of, of uh, Wajid Bay, the attempted murder of John Bay, and the failure to investigate the IAD complaint of Ali Salim Bay, which is me, to IAD. OPD IAD headed by Oliver Cunningham, oversaw this investigation, okay? For seven months, they drugged their feet. To be in compliance with the consent decree and to enforce the consent decree, you're supposed to have this done in six months. It took seven months. After seven months, Oliver Cunningham met with us and told us OPD has no records whatsoever of Wajid Bay's case or John Bay's case. They came back with a finding, performance of duty. The complaints alleged that there was a systemic failure on the part of Oakland Police Department during the investigation of the murder of YG Bay and the attempted murder of John Bay as it relates to the follow-up criminal investigation. The investigation disclosed sufficient evidence to determine that the alleged conduct did occur. This is called the unicorn letter because it's rumored never to exist that OPD or any police department admits that they're wrong, okay? A sustained finding has been determined. This finding is applied to the Oakland Police Department at all, chief all the way down. Why? Because the individual subject officers and their immediate supervisor are no longer employed by OPD. All right. 
That's factually a lie. No current employees are employed by OPD. Wajid Bay, John Bay, 07-0538. September 1st, 2007, one and a half months after the failure to look at these cases by IAD, three and a half years after the failure to investigate the murder of my brother Wajid, 24 months after the failure to investigate my brother's attempted murder, John Muhammad Bay, on September 1st, 30 days after the murder of Chauncey Bailey, who was reporting on and writing a story about OPD's failure to investigate Wajid Bay and John Bay, OPD closed the case. Who closed this case? Paperwork is what we say. Always have a paper trail. Because where you can't find it, OPD, we can. Whose signature is on closure of 07-0538? David. Downey, current deputy chief, fourth in command, third or fourth in command. Who was his supervisor at that time? Current chief went. So here you have the signature of a current employee on a 2000 document closing for failure to investigate Wajid Bay and John Bay. Then in 2014, they say, oh yeah, we admit we never did it. How can there be no current officers involved to be punished, yet the signature of a current chain of command is there. Warshaw's contract states that he was put in that place to be able to uh, provide punishment to chain of command who traditionally is never punished in OPD. They'll throw every officer and civilian person under the bus, but it never gets to the top. So with that, and these are all city documents. This is ABC, very simple and everything like that. This was all given to Warshaw, whose fiduciary responsibility is to punish the people who break the law, racial profiling, by current Deputy Chief David Downing and current Chief Went. Okay, what are you gonna do about that, huh? Please don't have a, a, a blank look on your face because these are all city documents independently verifiable. Okay, with your city letterhead, that means it comes from you. You're responsible for it. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna give a contract to a person who knows about this and willfully never followed up? Just as we're saying that there's never a follow up on crimes against black Muslims or black people in, the, in, in Oakland, we're telling you that Warshaw failed to follow up on this. So before you give him a contract, ask him, why hasn't current chain of command been disciplined? Why hasn't there been an investigation? Why hasn't Chauncey Bailey's murder been reinvestigated since now it turns out that the people he was writing about were systemically violated of their civil rights by Oakland Police Department, right? So what good is it to have Warshaw as an overseer of OPD if he picks and chooses on your behalf who to follow up on? Okay, so as fiduciarily responsible for ratifying the contract of Warshaw tonight, I hold you directly responsible. That if you ratify that contract, it's in the flying in the face of hard evidence that was publicly given to you, because all of you have all these documents, not just tonight, we've met with multiple people and explained them in detail, and yet you still lick in the police's butt. All right, so let's get to the point. Let's get down to it. Why does Warshaw deserve $5 million of Oakland's money when you're giving $13,000 to a whole project that, that helps people who are trying not to be reincarcerated by OPD? It's upside down. Don't you see why people are in the street right now? because there's a disconnect between you, 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 and missing you with the people in the street. We're frustrated. This ain't justice. This is, this is 19X Alabama, where you have evidence saying a white police officer committed a crime against black people. And in 2015, on the West Coast progressive Oakland, California, right? You have no idea 
what you're going to do. Thank you, Mr. Bay. <clears throat> Mr. Bay.